Good day, all. Welcome to a playthrough of Return of the King. In this Let's Play slash playthrough, I'm going to try to give you some of the tips and tricks that I use in this game to maximize uh, your enjoyment of it. It's 2021, and this is a total classic game. I'm going to try to play this. So, very first mission, you load in. First thing you want to do is start parrying. And if you get enough parries and speed attacks, you'll get to perfect mode really quick. Take out the Urukai. Uh, they're not shielded, so they're pretty easy to take out with speed attacks. Try to get as many perfect kills as you can. The Gimli, the Gimli and the Rohirrim will be there to kind of assist you, but, uh, you know, they don't do much. Just try to get in as many kills as you can before they steal your kills, so you could have the points. Here I got into perfect mode again, and uh, I'm just kind of using my projectiles to mop up the Urukai in this section. Once this cutscene comes, uh, Gimli will prompt you to go upstairs and assist Legolas. Okay, you could stay here and finish off the Urukai to get more points. The shielded Urukai need a fierce attack to break the shields before you can damage them. If you're facing their back, you could harm them with any attack. Okay, their back are, is facing towards you. You could use a projectile attack or you could use a speed attack, as I'm demonstrating here. I'm just trying to mop up as many Urukai as I can before I advance to the next section. And the reason I do this is because I want to maximize my points. And if I maximize my points, I could get more upgrades for my characters. Not just for Gandalf, but for the entire Fellowship. And that'll make uh, the earlier stages a bit easier. Okay, so the stronger your character is, the, the easier it is later on. And this first level is kind of forgiving. Uh, first of all, we can't die in this first level, and you have infinite, uh, basically, projectiles. Um, normally you have 30 as Gandalf, and it'll go down to zero, but in this tutorial mission you have, uh, once you go to 10, it won't deplete below 10. There's supposed to be a cutscene that triggers here, and it does eventually, but uh, this kind of just uh, really uh, starts to... This, this has a glitch, so I end up going back and forth a bit before it loads. I don't know why this happened. Gandalf's ranged attacks are one of the most powerful in the game. Ah, there we go. So Aragorn here wants you to clear the causeway, and uh, no matter what you do, uh, the catapults will get fired. Okay, so you can't stay down there and fight forever, but I always like to do that and just to try to maximize my points as much as possible. Pretty nimble for a really old wizard. Here I just avoid really firing any of the catapults. As soon as you fire all three or the two to trigger the detonation, the cutscene happens and the mission ends. So I just try to take out Urukai here while they're preoccupied with my allies. The Urukai archers will give you more points than the infant Urukai infantry. Here I'm just using a couple of spears and totally missing.
Anytime you flip an enemy or knock them down on the ground, you could use the killing move button and that instantly kills them. This works for most infantry. It doesn't work for certain mini boss enemies, such as champions or trolls. And I'll talk about that once we get them get there. So Gandalf is a very well-rounded character. The only thing I don't like about him is his ranged, uh, his his melee attacks, the range of his melee attacks. They don't seem to reach as far as I want them to. Luckily that Urukai just ran into me. So my recommendation is to just keep doing this uh, until until the game automatically ends the mission for you. Aragorn's like glitching out there, I don't know what's going on. Maybe he misses his girlfriend. This game is much, much better, in my opinion, than The Two Towers, which which is still a pretty good game, but uh, I find Two Towers kind of unbalanced sometimes, and the hitboxes are a bit finicky, and it's a lot harder. It takes more, of, uh, more luck than skill in Two Towers, in terms of sometimes when you want to time the, uh, your attacks. And there it went. So Gandalf does his uh, aerial attack here. And I'll very quickly show you guys which upgrades I get. Economically, it's always more viable to purchase. Uh, at the end of every level, your character will be able to get new upgrades. And it's always more viable to get the upgrade for the entire team. So yeah, you want to try to reach level 3, and I don't know if it's possible to get level 4, but that would be really great if you could. The two upgrades I always get in the very beginning are Orc Hewer, and uh, I either it's a, uh, decide between Final Judgment or Strength of Stone. And uh, in this situation, I was having a hard time deciding, but eventually I went with uh, Strength of Stone. Sorry, I went with uh, uh, Final Judgment. <clears throat> So I would prioritize those, and if you have any XP left over, I would spend it on some of Gandalf's projectile or uh, his uh, area of attack uh, upgrade. Don't worry about Orc Bane for the moment. I would upgrade it with uh, another character. Now turns to and uh, that's it for the first part. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like and subscribe, and drop a comment. He senses the ring will draw close. And I look forward to seeing you guys in part two.